to safely and in an environmentally sound manner mm -hmm. hibernate this facility to protect the asset so it can run in the future and to secondly protect the receiving environment. How quickly could you fulfill all of your legal and environmental obligations and start operating the mill again? Uh, as it relates to a current, the currently proposed EA process, uh, we need to look at the terms of reference that were just released yesterday and, and understand what those mean. Uh, so we're not in a position to be able to answer that. But this is a matter of <coughs> years and years from now. This is five years well, away. It, it's, it's currently our thinking that the, it could be the, of that magnitude. So what will happen to your employees in the interim? Well, so that's, uh, that's a question, uh, you know, I think sort of for, for the Premier and for the province to consider is that we've put forward what we believe to go, be a good plan. Um, and, you know, we've, we've obviously been unsuccessful in receiving the decision we want. For today, what we're focusing on, as I mentioned, is making sure um, that we support our employees and their families and we do what we need to do to protect the asset and the environment in terms of the hibernation. You are going to lay them off, though. But, uh, no, we are still today continuing to work to try and protect those jobs and in some form or fashion find a path forward for, for all the, of the employees for the mill for all of the employees should uh the should the time pass in the coming months where it becomes clear that that's not possible then unfortunately we're faced with a situation where we're going to be having to look at relocate employees to other jurisdictions where we operate who are frankly in a lot of ways more friendly to business uh, than Nova Scotia, and those employees that you know aren't open or available for relocation, then there, of course there would be severance. What have you communicated to the Pictou Landing First Nation? About? Yeah, we ha we haven't had an opportunity to talk to the Why? Pictou Landing You're First Nation. Uh, it's it's been a busy time, uh, availability, everything else. But you know what I what I would say to uh, uh, Chief Andrea Paul um, and the nation is that we have a lot of respect for them. Mm -hmm. their passion around this issue and especially Chief Andrea and her leadership on this issue we're saddened the issue has been so divisive mm -hmm. um, it's divided communities, friends, neighbours so we believe in the coming months there's an opportunity for reconciliation and that's what we hope. That said that. though with the law that was passed that is coming into effect in three weeks. Did you ever really think that there would be any other outcome than this? We uh, we were very hopeful and have been literally up until the decision on December 20th that the work we put forward was uh, top drawer, uh, absolutely satisfactory, and 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 frankly, from from my experience, which yep. is almost 30 years in pulp and paper, I think other provinces in Canada would have approved the application we put forward. Do you think this mill will operate again? Uh, we certainly hope so. Do you think it will? We certainly hope so. I can't speculate on that. At this time, okay. there's still a lot of ground to cover. We appreciate your time. Right. Excellent. Appreciate your time. Graham Kislyk is the Vice President, Environment, Health, Safety and Communications for Paper Excellence, which owns Northern Pulp. Back in just a moment with more.